the publication of America's Political Dynasties, I would put together a little game called Which is the Greatest Dynasty? Uh, and eventually, in a couple of weeks, I think it's going to go on the Brookings website. Uh, but with uh, my wonderful interns w uh, using the Biographical Directory of the American Congress, we put together uh, a system that was really three parts. It included generations, how many generations of the family in politics, uh, members, now how many were in politics, and then finally some scale based on the jobs they held. Ten points for president, two points uh, for, uh, for members of the House of Representatives. So in late April, I called Cokie, and I said, I have great news. <laughs> Your family, the Claibans, are the third greatest American political dynasty. Dynasty. She thought that was nice. She asked for the data. <laughs> She went over the data, and she noted that we had left out, because it wasn't in the biographical directory of the American presidency, but uh, we had left out a senator from Alabama who served two terms. I should say, in the order of importance, number one was the Roosevelt, number two were the Kennedys, the Clavens were number three the point score was listed. Uh, so she uh, informed us that there was a two-term senator from Alabama who, who uh, resigned uh, to enter the Confederacy. And this, therefore, was worth uh, three points a term, or six points plus two bonus points, or eight points, which happened to put her ahead of the Kennedys.